Hello everybody and welcome back to my full note taking course with iOS and Swift and Xcode. Now that we have all of our layout done, we're going to add a couple constraints. And we're actually going to start right here because this is going to have the most constraint work I believe. So select these two. And we are going to do constraints to the top, left, right, and bottom. Each one of these has to be 8 though. We're select width and height aspect ratio and add all those constraints however we're gonna move we're actually gonna undo that I did not do that correctly clear all those constraints we're gonna start by adding constraints to this one which will be 8 8 8 and 8 add those constraints and now we're going to add the same constraints to this one. A, or not that one, because we already have one there. A, A, and A, and add that. And now to the top one, we are going to select width, height, and aspect ratio. And now our two views are correctly, correctly constrained. This is the way I do it, and it works. So that's the way I'm going to be doing it. If you have a different way of doing constraints, go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Now for our note name, we're going to add a similar constraints, 8, 8, 8, and 8, add those constraints. And now that we've done that, we need to add constraints to this. And this one needs to have constraints 8, 8, and 8. Alright, and now we need to add constraints to this one right here. This one is not going to be 8. For this one, we'll do 16, 16. 16 and 16. Add all of those constraints. And now the constraints for this are done. Now we need to do the constraints for the cell. And I actually forgot something very important. I forgot that we need to add a view to our cell. make sure that it is constrained properly 8 8 8 and 8 and we're going to select these three items and drag them under our view and make sure that they're children all right so now that we have moved all of that into our view as you can see it is right here under the view we're going to move these into place this one I'm going to have to take down the width and the height because it is now too big and we want a little bit of a margin in between image and the container view right here let's go ahead and move our name label over here and our description label over here and just clear these constraints really quick we're gonna start afresh what I'm going to do first is we're going to add some constraints on to this one description so click right here we're gonna do 8 8 8 and 8 width and height and also aspect ratio and those constraints as you can see it's red right now because this one and this one don't have constraints and this one also doesn't have constraints so <laughs> make sure to go to our view right here and add 8 8 8 and 8 like so just like that very important all right now as you can see it's blue but this one is still red because our image view does not have any constraints so let's just click right here and add 8, 8 and 8 we don't need to add this one because we already have it for description add those and now we just need to finish up with the name which only has one right here but none here here or on the top so let's add left top and right add those constraints is now and now you can see everything is blue so everything should be working just fine now let's just double check that we've got all of our constraints done and that everything is blue and should be working properly everything looks good here everything is good right here and that is actually all that we have so we are done for this video now you have your layout done with all your constraints and you have your project set up in the next video, we will probably be setting up our core data, which will be in our notes.xdata model 
we'll be creating our entity, we'll be creating our properties, and we'll be doing some stuff in the app delegate. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out more of our videos, and I'll be seeing you in our next tutorial. Mm -hmm.